because I noticed that Finn and Remy really had this bond and I did not think that I could separate them. The idea of Remy walking around our apartment looking for Finn after he would leave, I just couldn't fathom that. So Finn stayed. In 2020, I was a senior in college. Our graduation ceremony was canceled for a third time. I was really, really sad and honestly feeling very depressed and very isolated and very lonely. And I was just desperate for something to take my mind off of missing college and missing my friends. And a news story broke in my hometown of Tuscaloosa. There was a dog found with a gunshot wound on the left side of her face. Someone has shot a dog and left it for dead. I saw her story in the news and something about it, just like I could not get her out of my mind. And when I figured out that we weren't gonna be going back for the rest of the semester, I thought about the dog. Went, applied, met her, love at first sight. I mean, she is just the sweetest thing. She truly was my saving grace in that period of time, still is to this day. But I thought she was lonely. I thought, wow. Remy loves cats, maybe I should adopt a cat. And my mom suggested fostering. So I called my local animal shelter and they said, well, we have two four week olds who just came in. Can you come and pick them up? So within an hour, I was at the shelter picking up two filthy four week old kittens, but they were cute as can be. It was a boy and a girl, and I named them Finn and Fiona. They were getting kind of aggressive with each other. So my best friend adopted. Fiona. Over the next few weeks, I noticed that Finn and Remy really had this bond and I did not think that I could separate them. And that's how I ended up with Remy and Remy's cat, Finn. Finn, to his core, is an only child and he never wanted any siblings. He was very happy being the only cat, having his dog and his person, and he was fine with that. And it took him quite a bit of getting used to having all these brothers. Because of that, he has an attitude and we call him Slappy. He will, out of nowhere, go after some of the other cats, even though he's the smallest and the others would make a Scooby snack out of him, but that doesn't stop Finn from thinking he's the biggest and the baddest in the land. So he has quite a big attitude for a tuxi. These animals changed my life. They gave me the gift of the Coop Kitty community. This community of people are so kind. To see people come together on an app on my phone to give cats a better life, and in turn it gave me a new perspective on community and people, and that community can exist in so many places, including an app, which is just wild and cool.